Welcome to Throne Expert. In this video, I'll show you how you can deploy a smart construct in Throne blockchain. First, go to thronescan.org. This is where you can deploy the smart contract. Second, make sure you have Throne link installed and logged in. And go to the node and make sure if you are deploying in testnet, then select this Shasta testnet. If you are on mainnet, then select the mainnet. Once that is done, the third, you have to connect the wallet in TronScan. Uh, I already connected this one, but for you, you have to connect this one with TronLink. Once that is done, users have to go to blockchain and contract deployment. It will open up this type of interface where you can upload your smart contract solidity core. Um, because I'm doing on testnet, so I'll select the Shasta testnet. So, Shasta testnet. I'll be doing it from uh, testnet, but the, this process will be exactly the same for the mainnet as well as on the testnet. So for that, go to the same as the main contract deployment. This is very simple, straightforward process. All you have to do is just upload the contract files. So I have this test.sol file. So basically it should be the sol file. If you have like txt file, text file or anything, it might doesn't work or give some problems. So make sure it's a .sol file. So just select the file. If you have multiple files, then you also can upload multiple files as well. But uh, for this demonstration, I have just only one solidity file. So just upload that, compile. Select here the version of the compiler. It's better always select the latest one. But if your code is such that it only work with point 4.25, then ideally you should uh, use this one because if you use this, then it will break or might not compile. So for this demonstration, I'll use 0.5.10 because our co this code is for 0.5.10. You can leave this as default. You can put 200 here if you want, but it depends like you want to run optimization if your code does not need this then you can just leave it default and confirm the smart contract has been compiled and then just deploy here select the smart contract from the, uh, the, the this drop down here is only one but there might be more of the list of the smart contracts so you have to select the, the correct one with the one which you are deploying Leave this as default, leave this, this as default as well. Um, I will explain this uh, in another video, what the, what all these things means. In short, it just means whether the, the transaction cost is bared by the smart contract or by the user. So we leave it zero. So it's uh, zero for the smart contract. So the fee is 100%. You see for the, it should be covered by the users. Uh, limit you can set this so it's a 10 trx uh, but you have to set it higher if your smart contract has some function which might need the uh, the higher uh, gas uh, i'll just leave it default and that's it i mean okay the last thing is the constructor parameters so these are the initial parameters you have to pass if your smart contract has any if you don't have it then uh, it will not show up here uh, but as you can see uh, now they are asking type address so i have to put an address so i'll put this on uh, the, the same address for the demonstration but whatever the parameter they are asking you to put all these parameters and then confirm it will ask for the authorization set wait like uh, two minutes all right, as you can see, the smart contract has been deployed successfully. It costs 10 TRX. Now, again, this is for the testnet, just the testnet. The same process will happen on TronScan mainnet. If you are deploying in mainnet, all you have to do is go to the TronScan main and you have to have the your node in your Tron link should be the main. If you are doing that, then the, the same process will happen uh, here exactly. Uh, so if you can click on this, it will open up uh, the contract address. All right, so the smart contract has been deployed. You can see all information. Uh, the code at the moment is not verified, is unverified. 
in another video i'll show you how you can verify the smart contract and put your details or maybe it's a token contract so you have to you want to put your token information and, and other things then that i'll show you in another video so in this video this is it uh, the smart contract has been deployed you can read and you can write smart contract here you can interact with the smart contract directly from TronScan. you really don't have to have any kind of interface website or anything you can do it right here from the TronScan. so you can just click all these functions follow these functions and it will work so thank you so much if you have any questions please feel free to make a comment and someone from our team will happily reply to your